Okie dokie artichokey. What's up? I'm back. I'm going to shake it for a second because I put you on the tripod. But there we have the meat all nice and rendered down into taco form. Taco form tacos. All right. Now I'm going to turn you and I'm going to try to put this downward. Um, yep. <laughs> to the best of my ability. Uh, I might have to lower that down, but... Alright. So, get my cutting board. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got the cutting board. Oh. Now for my, uh... Well, it's not really a secret, but... What do I got here? What is that thing? Something scratching me. Alright. I'm going to fire up the old fire and open up the tortillas and we're going to take out a tortilla shut them down right there and um, let's move you so you can see me and the fire and now I'm just going to drop it directly on the fire and I'm going to give it a couple seconds and flip couple seconds flip couple seconds flip couple seconds ow, ow, ow. flip <laughs> flip oops hole I usually don't put a hole in it couple seconds ow couple out damn hole ow, that hole screw me up usually don't rip them either uh, ow. as you can see ow. Ah, it's hot. it gets toasted up nicely <laughs> and then you can take some meat mixture put it in the taco So we got some meat mixture going on here, and then I'm going to put, yeah, what do I do with it? I'm going to open up the chairs, uh, maybe, it might be a dope proof chairs, often is, it often Often, yeah, ain't too high. Do that, do that. Uh, all the way down here, he's still too high. Um, well, here's my plate. Just gonna put some chairs on there. Cheese. Cheese. All right, we got the cheese. Take a little chef knife. Put peppers and onions on there. And a little more peppers and onions on there. And a little more. Oops. All right, and then at that point. At that point, yeah, I shut the heat off. Now. And then we'll get some lettuce. So why not? Put some lettuce up on there. And come on, buddy. And then we just roll it over, and we got ourselves a whole taco. We got ourselves a nice taco. Mm. Can you smell that? Mm. 
I don't know where you get your YouTube from, but you should talk to YouTube about getting smell vision Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's what I call a taco. No, no, it's delicious. Ah. Uh, a little spicy. That's the way I like it. Mm. You know, when I envision myself living in a van, doing van life. I remember living in the truck, in the big truck, over the road. Wishing that I had a stove like this. Wishing that I had a fridge like this, a freezer. So I don't have to eat out. I wouldn't have to eat Wendy's and McDonald's and whatever the truck stop have. Although I miss Hardee's. Hardee's was good. <laughs> I, I like Hardee's from fast food. But we don't have those around here. Closest ones in Ohio. Mm. It's no taco. Mm. Got the spice uppercut. Yeah, my head sweating. <laughs> Once in a while, I like to like really make things spicy. I know that high, hot and spicy taco mix is not too. Wow, well, yeah. My head's all wet. The hot and spicy uh, taco mix is not too hot, but. And the pepper that I used yesterday in my salad, which I think was the, I don't know if that was a Serrano or the Fresno, but the little red one, that one's, that one's hot. <laughs> the one that was red and green, I think that was a Fres Serrano. I think the Fresno was the little red one. The little red one got some heat. But I like heat once in a while. Oh. Alright. Well, I'm not going to bore you with me eating. But that's how I make tacos in van life. And it's simple. And, you know, if you're a vegan, you can substitute that meat. You can substitute it for tofu or... Uh, beans or whatever you want and still make a tacos um, you can make anything you want as your protein you could use eggs you could whatever I don't I don't know what vegans eat or don't eat um, I have nothing against them that's fine I like I like animals they taste great <laughs> they taste really good to me um, but I'm sorry if you don't like animals I like everything I like you name it, I like it. 
uh, last year I, I did for almost a whole year on and off I did the whole 30 and just not having sugar and um, the flour and stuff like that corn and uh, legumes and um, those things it was like an elimination diet where you, you take out things that I, I did I did it because I heard you could lose a lot of weight which I did I lost 70 pounds um, and that was a result of doing that diet and then once I stopped doing it I gained it all back <laughs> so this time I'm just trying to limit myself on not overeating and trying to eat more healthier choices and with this van life has forced me to go to the gym to take a shower so while I'm at the gym I've been working out now mind you the last two weeks has really hurt because being sick I didn't work out at all a couple of times I jumped on the bicycle um, yesterday I went to the gym I, I did the bike for 20 minutes and I, I uh, I don't know, I worked out for about 20 minutes. I, I just really wasn't, my strength was gone. But it's okay, I start over and I just back into the gym and, and uh, I, I like it, that's, that's helping me. Um, it's helping me with my my life. It's, it's just helping, you know, I don't know. I'm still super excited about this fridge. This thing rocks. I'm tell you what. You know, I was gonna go with a Dometic fridge, and there's a lot of bad reviews about the Dometic and not working and this and that. And it just was a little bit too fancy and plastic. And this one is made out of metal. It had better reviews, um, and for the size of it, it was like. 200 bucks cheaper than the, the, the same size Dometic one and I tell you what this thing is just rocking it's it's not sucking any power down at all but I have it plugged into the power inverter which the power inverter doesn't suck down any energy at all because I've left that on with nothing plugged in just having it on and it didn't the battery didn't drop at all so power inverter itself unless it's really cranking uh, my new supercomputer that I got, I'll tell you what, when that thing is dead and you plug it in, that thing sucks down some power. But, um, <laughs> like I said, it's it's got, uh, I think it's 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, not RAM, yeah, RAM, 32 gigabytes, 512 megabytes of shadow RAM, and one terabyte of memory so it's got, it's pretty powerful it's a gaming and um it's an alienware gaming and um, um editing computer and i said the next time when my computer breaks i'm gonna buy a, a good computer so um yeah this thing costs four times what my last computer cost um but it's ten times more efficient than my last one was, so, uh, trade-off that I live with, and it's made out of, it has a metal case, thing, thing weighs, weighs 10 pounds, and my other, my lap, my old laptop, <laughs> ton of thing, ton of thing might have weighed a pound, so, uh, hopefully with the, that case, and just being more cautious with it, uh, it'll last longer, so, anyway, I'm rambling on, and I want to eat my dinner, so, um, keep on trucking. Um, I'll catch you in the next episode. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe down, right down below, right there. Um, and hopefully, uh, leave some feedback. If you think I could change anything in my videos, if, um, you see me doing something that you think you could help me to make a better video, let me know, because... I can only learn by feedback, so please leave some feedback. Thank you. Good night.